enter the hall. Early morning of the 14th of September, 2011. As he rapidly approaches the Lord at Mahavide, Namo Arihantanam, Namo Arihantanam, Namo Arihantanam. Please accept our love and highest devotion to you, my Lord. And Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya to the Gnani who give the exact science of Prakriti and Purush to the world, Lord Sri Krishna. And Om Namah Shivai to all who are the embodiment, the living embodiments of the salvation for the world. Om Namah Shivai. And Namo Arihantanam, for all practical purposes, our Tirthankar, the latest Tirthankar for our world, for especially for Mahatmas, as a flower comes down from the Gnani, Purushtada Sri to Deepak Bhai and all of us, as we move over on the left side, crossing Aptavani 13 image and the Gnani Purushtada Sri's images to Ma, Amba, the embodiment of the energy that signifies sahajta of prakruti, naturalness of prakruti, hema, at your feet, this prakruti is surrendered, and to ma niruma, And to Maniruma, we have a frozen image, but it should come in pretty soon. As he returns to the stage and faces all the Mahatmas to give a darshan. Highest Namaskars to the Paramatma within our Gnani and to his relative self too, Jai Sachidana. As Mahatmas raise their arms over, uh, uh, Can hear a Sanjay car playing in the background. As the Gnani gives the three hundred one hundred and eighty degree span view to the massive numbers of Mahatmas who have gathered here. Estimates go anywhere between a nine to 10,000 Mahatmas in this Dadanagar hall. Jai Sachidanan, 
I bow to the Absolute Self, the Paramatma, who resides within you with deep sense of oneness and obeisance. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Is the bliss increasing for all of you? Prakruti, Prakruti, and Prakruti, Prakruti. People, the same word coming over and over again in your ears. You're not getting bored with it, are you? Can you see the Prakruti is separate from you? And this is, these talks are going on only to keep the Prakruti separate from you. Let us read further. Page 36 in Gujarati. Eventually both are Vitarag. You will be able to maintain Vitaragta if you become acquainted with the other person's Prakruti. For example, a rose plant has thorns that prick you. So it is decided the rose plant will always have thorns. Then you will not be upset by the thorns. You will have to you you will have to be ready to be pricked if you want the rose. To become acquainted with the prakruti is knowledge or gnan, and with knowledge comes conduct. That is all. Therefore, and that gnan there should be ki g capital. You have to adjust to the other person and to adjust with the other person, and then do settle the file with equanimity. This is it. You have to understand the prakriti. You have to. Somebody is a mani prakriti. Some, somebody is a mohi prakriti. Too much in deep illusory attachment. Somebody is hyperactive prakriti. Somebody is a depressed prakriti. Is there the child, a mother, very careful with a little child? This, you know, the the mother cannot the little boy cannot speak but the mother understands the prakriti of the little boy and therefore even though the child cannot communicate the mother takes care of the needs of the of the little child in the same the more way the, in the same way the more you understand the prakriti there will be the less there will be the ragvesh and when you see the person's pure soul then only you will be able to see the prakriti of the person in exactness otherwise and then you will also know how to adjust with that prakruti. So it is very important to see the pure soul of the prakruti. Therefore, the prakruti that this person, uh, that this person's attributes is nature is this. And then mitrakta remains towards him. You will know that it is not his fault. His prakruti is like that. His prakruti is like that. So, so, so we have the exact clarity that he is a pure soul, and chandubai is different, separate, and and we and we said so then we should know that it is he is a pure soul and that pure soul's prakriti is like that and so so in that way we too will have less effects and we know that that they are, he is a pure soul and and that other person's prakriti is like that ove or unisis prakriti is like that so to see a fault in anyone is your own fault our science says that if you see a fault in anyone then it is your own fault Th that is your own fault. The reaction has come because of your own fault. The self, Atma, is Vitrag and Prakruti is also Vitrag. But whatever fault you bring out, it has its reaction. You bring out, you pull it out. Yes, so if you have insist on, on very good uh, cleanliness in the home with organization, then you will be very much... Uh, uh, you, you'll create problems with your partner who is not as clean or as not not as organized. You see, or you, if you if you insist on truth, then I don't. I hate people who tell lies. I hate truth. So then, your own anger, pride, deceit, and greed will make you find faults with other people. And then, because of your own mistakes, you will see the fault and mistakes of the others. Prakriti is also the field stock only and it is faultless and flawless. And so then there will be no ragvesh with the Prakriti. Purush is with rag and Prakriti is with rag. In spite of living with Purush, it has remained with rag. Prakriti is jured without the ability to see and know matter. It is not Chetan. The self has the ability with, to know, see and know. It is by nature with rag, just as the self is with rag by nature. Questioner, what is the difference between vitrakta, absolute non-attachment, and of the of the self, and the vitrakta of the prakriti? The other, she says there is no difference. But 
today the self the worldly interacting self is not in vitaraka and thus it interferes in the prakruti then prakruti reacts and that is all otherwise prakruti itself does not do anything so the worldly interacting self or we have a har atma has got the wrong vision you see that is the interference of the thing and because of the interference there is a reaction in the prakruti and and as for today if you stop interfering then what remains in the prakruti is the reactions from past life and so then the discharging effects will come and so and so then there will be when it on finish all interference is finishes then there is sahaj prakruti and sahaj atma gnani changes prakruti like this is the heading people think that when dada goes to his room he goes to sleep it is far from the truth at the age of 77 i sit in padmasan for an hour even the legs bend and that is why the light and the energy of the eyes have been preserved this is because i have never criticized or insulted the prakruti people insult it by criticizing it vagovi vago don't you don't criticize the prakruti vagovi prakruti is alive so it will have an effect if you insult it if you insult this non living thing jerd thing there is an effect what effect does it have the echo effect of it falls on only you and prakruti is a little alive it is mishra chetan so it does have some effect so you cannot insult it you cannot deride or disparage it there is a little bit of life in it so you cannot do any say anything to it you can never insult the prakruti it is almost like a living thing oh i do not like this uh, karelas the green vegetables in this life you scorn it and then in this life in the next life every day you will have to drink one glass of karelas so then it is it remains very good all right so it so so if that which has been uh, rejected with scorn will have to be suffered with with attachment that which has been rejected with scorn will have to be resuffered with attachment dvesti tyagelu rakthi bhogavu pade so but now it is amazing that we can come to this satsang and have this amazing satsang where you can settle the file with equanimity the so if there are any problems you see you know you whatever it is it is not worth and criticizing the prakruti my speech is like this my body is like that i am getting old i cannot do this all of these are wrong approaches to the prakruti these are all the there is uh, it is the it, there is the interference of the ego and the stick of the ego that is why the wrong reactions keep coming out of the prakruti you see one uses the weapon of speech against the prakruti it is the ego is that is at fault and the ego has a reason out of ignorance and with gnan the ego will continue continue to die at the discharge level whenever we see the mistake of somebody then it is our own mistake the other she says but we see that we see the mistake but we do not find him at fault we see the dosh but we do not see him faulty you see we can see the full stock of the 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 error in the other person but we do not brand him as the guilty one we and so neither the prakruti of that person the per contains that it has got the three three uh, mis- mistakes as well as the seven uh, doshas also the seven doshas are have already been outlined by puja deepak bhai previously it is because of the presence of our own mistake that we find the mistakes of the other person and and so the gnani is always trying out of his compassion to try to get the person out of it he continues to see that it is there that this person has got a little bit of weakness he has got this kashay this greed as a reason but yeah yeah he can see at what station the person is standing and where the gnani purush and then i say if 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 somebody if somebody uh, complains about the wife then he will say no 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 it is not the fault of the wife it is your insistence that is the problem this is how the gnani will solve the problem 
is so his he has got compassion and therefore he wants to see he can see where he is standing at which milestone and therefore he will show how he can move forward on and so this is helpful for him to rise higher he does not see him at fault he only sees him at and then right now it is said that they there is is when we say it because you see when we say that you know the prakruti is not really prakruti is one of the only evidence prakruti is not the doer but really is one of the evidence is actually the vyavasthit is making prakruti do is the exact answer and you as a self are a karta the non doer then then where is uh, where is where is the one solve fault because prakruti is doing it and you believe that i am doing it and that is why prakruti is under sc therefore there is no doer actually but you believe i am doing it and that is the fault you see that is the error problem is not of the mistake problem is of the now some more questions when suppose suppose you bang your you know if you bang your fist on steel versus when you bang your uh, fist on a piece of rubber will you which one will hurt you less so so if there is a murti of the idol of uh, of the of the lord and you apply flowers then you get 100% but if you do it with a living person then you will get something the something less back you see it is one says one has uh, uh, created his own prakruti and therefore he suffers by through tanmaya karpanu or by uh, with residual uh, entry into the prakruti itself but it is but it is one's own that is arising for him because it is in the last life he, he had gone in it intensely and this in this life he then has to have some residual uh, absorption or tanmaya karpanu in what kind of prakruti that he has the aim propitels prakruti has not never uh, criticized anybody else's prakruti or govi anybody's prakruti nor has he ever had uh, criticized his own prakruti because but you know he cleared up his anger pride deceit and greed but he never criticized his own prakruti he never said anything negative about the prakruti of aim patel he has with children wife he had lost in his uh, business but he never said anything negative about his world, his own worldly interactions he realized that he his that he was the new thing was the vitrakta and settlement of whatever has happened is correct i am not this and i i, I need to remain vitrag in all of this thing whatever has happened is correct that is all that was his exact approach to his own life with his wife with his children who passed away very early with his business with sustained profits as well as loss this is five agnas is teaching us this only and nothing else supposing prakruti is eating a lot of sugar because it likes sugar and sugar is stuff and then yeah. you see if he if he if he, if 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 he cannot take the three flights of stairs then he will criticize his own feet see i'm getting old therefore i used to be able to climb the entire building uh, but now i can't even go three flights so in this it will not it will do the vagoving it will criticize the prakruti for sure i used to be able to eat five rotlis chapatis and now i can only eat two what is going on i you know so he's criticizing his own body so he never sees the right he, you know he he does not see the positive he continues to compare his current life with his the life of youth and therefore you know i want to serve a lot dada service but i uh, but i want to do the service give grant me the energy to do the seva but i cannot do service because i can't walk because you know from which year is the model is the model of 1932 she was born in 1932 then she doesn't need to do seva and you do not want to if you do not interfere with anyone then it is the greatest thing but if you cannot help other people at least you should not hurt the other people that is the law that is the unofficial law of the path of service next yes is yes, you don't need to see this is you see 
uh, is this with reference to our own self with the file one that and the echo of it falls on you the prakruti is a little live so it is mr chetan so it does have a, some effect that is all that was a question what do you want to make it sticky oh is it because of my mistake that i see the mistake of the other people then you see and if i can become free from my mistake then i will see the world as flawless that is where you have to really focus there what is the difference between scolding the prakruti versus to criticize the prakruti when you when you scold the prakruti you are accusing the prakruti to be a guilty one you are like this you are like that you are whereas you know otherwise you are just complaining about yourself oh my body is not really giving me any kind of support anymore my mind is terrible you know it i it continues to see the negative of the other people etc whatever don't let's not even talk about thapko thapko means a uh, really heavy scolding of the thing right now without the uh, without the agna of the gnani one should not do any scolding of the prakruti this is more important to just use the, uh, the, the 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 task of understanding the prakruti making the prakruti understand through conversations etc so that the prakruti will at least listen quietly but if you really become very scold the prakruti your own prakruti very strongly it will react so this is not being allowed now you see problem is not of the mistake problem is of the ignorance we read on page 124 i know that the mistakes are the same as before do you have such awareness the questioner says it is completely in my awareness but it goes away after the mistake happens i realize that it has gone away dada she says then there is no problem questioner but i also know that dada will rebuke me dada she says you will know that too because a mistake has happened and that we know whatever is in the prakruti it is going to come out there is no choice there the reason we rebuke you thapko is that you are is that are you aware or not there is no problem when a mistake happens to know the mistake and to improve upon the mistake is what is important mistake is of the prakruti we do not consider mistake of the prakruti a mistake when you know the mistake it proves that you are separate yes. when you know that the mistake it a mistake it proves that you are separate questioner we do not consider the mistake of the prakruti a mistake this is important supposing prakruti makes a mistake and somebody is very close to uh, you know dada and somebody does the wrong thing around you know, then dada more by the most account dada will continue to see not say anything and if he does not know anything and if he goes in the wrong direction then on 15 days or maybe on 4 months he will might give him a little stern it's a stern uh, you know he you know do you know that you are going the wrong direction you see that is he will try to increase his awareness that is all he will not scold him heavily so that you see in other words he, he will just uh it is if it is so do you, do you understand that this is a mistake of the prakruti and just wash it off okay when you because you do not understand your own mistakes the gnani will give you a little bit of a little bit of a a a, a positive warning a positive warning you see if you can understand your mistakes then then you are already in your purushartha otherwise but when, questioner we may not even be aware of this that when it is happening Uh, but what is the awareness which comes automatically later the other she says awareness that comes later automatically is not proper but presence of awareness while mistake is being made is called full awareness this is a comparison you see supposing you don't have any awareness and if it comes later on it's much better than but you know if somebody says he has got the exact awareness then inst- then the exact awareness is that it you that you are simultaneously aware that the mistake is happening and your awareness is present at the time that's called full awareness but that awareness comes automatically later dada that is says but that will come automatically and that itself is called the self but if awareness comes when the mistake is happening then it is called exact awareness so use the word exact awareness or full awareness but because question is says i have not applied the handle and or done anything and yet it shows from within that a mistake has happened a mistake has occurred the other she says that proves that the self is indeed separate 
and now it has become separate that this is the proof of it that is all the pragna is such that you know when the force of the karma decreases then the pragna is always there and the, the self has attained it is awakened and it is warning you the pragna is there heading the vision of the s capital self makes even a tiger non violent questioner instead of making my prakruti adjust with the other person's prakruti if as i am shuddhatma pure soul i see the other person as a shuddhatma then will the prakruti adjust by itself radha shri says it will definitely adjust if you prod the prakruti then it will rebound and react otherwise it will behave so beautifully and naturally when one becomes unnatural then that prakruti will be keep jumping and becoming unnatural he himself is prodding the prakruti that is why there is a problem see how he is a, he is a, he is a thief i have to be very careful with him because otherwise he is going to create more mischief etc these are all the prods and these are all the breaks in the prakrutis you see and then he tries to adjust his and then he is disturbed with the prakruti and he is also disturbing the other prakruti you see so but the one who has taken gnan dada his prakruti can become sahaj but is it so for the opponent who has not taken the gnan dada shri says the one with the gnan can adjust with the prakruti of another very easily and naturally if the interferer within if the interferer within does not interfere interfere so now questioner now there are two people opposing each other one has taken dada's gnan so he is in the process of making his prakruti natural by staying in gnan as a self by following the five agnas but how will make how will this make the prakruti of the opponent the other person who has not taken gnan sahaj dada shri says <coughs> that the swiss replies no this has nothing to do with the other person questioner now his prakruti does not become sahaj then will it not create problem for us dada dada shri replies on page 139 129 dada shri says for you these five agnas is the safe side in every way if you remain in these agnas then no one not even a tiger or a lion can harm you as long as you see a tiger as a shuddhatma pure soul it will forget its beastliness and violent nature once it forgets its nature it means it is over and it will not do anything question if it will forget its own nature questioner does that mean <coughs> that seeing the shuddhatma the self in the other person brings about a change in that person the other she says of course that is indeed why i am telling you uh, to see the family members as shuddhatma you have never see them thus have you say for instance as you enter the home and notice your elder son and you might not have seen anything you might just say how are you you do everything but internally if you say he is an unworthy fellow if you see him this way then it will have an effect and if you see the self in him then it will have that effect this is very important this is a very key point we have to see the amapura in the other person the rainasile in the other person the pure soul in the other person you yes, see it because it is your opinion will create your own ragvesh and therefore the reactions the, the other person will see uh, will be affected but when you see the pure one all him then automatically you will be seeing him as flawless because seeing him pure will make him See, make you see him flawless this is a very this is a very important daily practical this is the agna of the gnani purush dadashri especially for the sticky file you will have to see her and he or him as the pure soul only otherwise <coughs> your camera is we are going to take this as the samayik you see this world is totally effective it is so effective that you can't even talk about it we are doing the same thing in this vidhi we are doing the same thing in this vidhi the installation of the inner energies to the one who surrenders to the gnani we place an effect and energize the vital eternal element dormant within you that is why we feel you you feel so energized that otherwise how can it happen you see 
And this is very important here on page 130 because you get some ideas about the VD on page 130. And at nine o'clock we do the VD. In the gigantic hall we do the, all the VDs, you do the Charan VD and in the Samaik also that the VD has so much energy and power that that I, that it melts all the kashais and all melts all the uh, the unnecessary interferences in the in the prakriti the charan vidhi is all the various vidhis the pratikraman vidhi all of this is very helpful you see it melts uh, all the the, the the mistakes and the energy of the self expresses that is why i you feel so energized i have is a question you you had said uh, the, you had said that the, we see the Shuddhatma is Shuddhatma within, this Shuddhatma is absolutely flawless. It is, yeah. The other Sri says, it is verily good. Right. But we can see the Prakruti flawless. Yeah, the other says, yes, that Prakruti must appear flawless. Next page. Question. At the end, when Prakruti also appears flawless, then both come along together. The other Sri, yes, besides our path, Akram path even goes to the extent of saying that see the prakriti, see the deceit that exists or arises. And in the Kramik, deceit will not work at all. There the ego has to be purified in every step of the way. Deceit will not work over there. Therefore, it is enough if it finishes in two or three more lives. Oh, even if it will finish in ten more lifetimes, what are we going to lose? But no one is at fault. This is very important. There is no one is at fault. In the <sighs> so we've just lost the uh, it's buffering. And when just yes, as your awareness increases uh, uh, and the vision clears, then it is called the clarity of the vision. You have said that nothing affects the pure soul. Okay, as soon as uh, the moment you feel that it, it is affecting me, then it is then you are getting affected. But when you are aware, when then he is absolutely convinced that I am not hurting anybody, I am not. When he is absolutely convinced that I am not hurting anyone, and then he is in absolutely sure that he is pure soul. And then as he moves forward, then when through you, the no, that means then nobody is affected by you, then you are in the absolute ex experience of the soul, you see. So when, when you know that nobody is affected by you, then you are indeed in the experience of the pure soul. This is how Dada has said, this is the science, you see, we need to remain in that science. Heading is there, the flawless vision of the Gnani on page 123. The question is, what is the meaning of flawlessness? How can we see a person flawless? Is this flawlessness a natural thing or something else? Dada Sri says, now, if one attains this absolute flawless vision, as, as, uh, then only can he see the other person flawless otherwise he cannot see the other person flawless this is very this is a pearl of the absolute final incontrovertible principle siddhant namanko as long as you see that the fact that one sees the other at fault is his very own fault because i want to have it my way therefore i will i will continue to bother the other person because i want to have it my way only and no other way why are you seeing the fault, the other fault, the other one has said fault because you want to have it your way. Therefore, the moment the way you become flawless, then you will not be hurting anyone. You see? And then you will be able to see the fall, the, the, the stock of the other person's prakriti, but you will not be a, you will not be affected by it at all. You then you will begin to see that he is flawless. Therefore, I see the whole world as flawless. By I, I mean I to convey that when I am as Dada Bhagwan, the absolute self, I see the whole world flawless. And I interact as Ambalal, I see the world as flawless in my conviction, Pratiti, but that may not be in my conduct or in Vartan. At that time, I would be, I might even point out your mistake. Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm. 
Uh, mostly, he was always uh, always separate from Ambalal. However, more than that, for him, and with much more, he was always as Dada Bhagwan, one with Dada Bhagwan. But with most, I'm with Rag. Most people, I'm with Rag. But when only those who are very close to me, like Nehru Ben, because then I would feel that I want to help her a little bit more. And therefore, someday I would find out her mistakes and point that out to her. But otherwise, Dada never stirred up anyone around. You know, in general, Dada, Dada might say, you know, awaken somebody in satsang. But, but on a rare occasion, Dada would want somebody. I would come down to the uh, level of Andavad to find your faults. So then I will come down. Then I'll say, why did you find faults with that other person? So I will not, I will, I consider that a weakness. When I see the world, world flawless, says Dada, then how did I see this mistake? But then I erase that mistake of Ambalal on the spot. All blemishes are wiped off. And I see it again with the clarity of the flawless vision. Uh, I have not come here to see the faults of your Prakriti, the relative self. I have come here to see your Prakriti. I have not come to see the faults of your or my Prakriti. Uh, to, to, uh, to see, to nirikshan. Ra rather, I have come here to see nirikshan, the Prakriti. I have come here to... Be to, to be the seer and knower of the Prakriti. I have, I, I have come here to, be this, to see and know the Prakriti. And when I remain as the pure soul, when I remain as Dada Bhagwan, then I will see the world as flawless. But when I come into, come into the Am Patel, then through conviction I know that he is flawless, but in conduct I might, I might uh, find faults with him. You know, If I remain as Lakshmi Chantargado, then I will, uh, then I I will find some faults with. Uh, I will, then I will not. I will I will find her as Nirdosh, flawless on the stage. But if I become, um, uh, you know, this is the moment. In other words, when I become I come to the Dada Bhagwan, the absolute self within me, then I know he's flawless. When I come outside, then I might. Might find some errors in the conduct, but I have no then in conviction he is flawless only. But at the so he comes down from the gnani pad when he, and then he clears off and then then he comes into the state of the gnani. As gnani pad means that you the level of the gnani pad means at the level of Dada Bhagwan, you, you are a gnani pad. In other words, you really do not see any. You, you are so much as the soul. So there you see everybody as a self only. So you do not. Even know who this person is. He does not even know who the person is in front of him. He has just become one with Dada Bhagwan only. This is a very, very important one. What is the internal state of the Gnani Purush Dada Shri? This is very important. Whatever happens, you know, if in the fourth level is the Tanmayakar Pano, that means he has become Tanmayakar, he has become absorbed. Then he recognized that, you see, and then you know he knows that he, this faulty speech is because I have become Tanmayakar, you see. And and when he is doing the Gnanvidhi, that then he is in absolute knowledge only, he is in the full state of Dada Bhagwan only. Yeah. And when it comes to pointing out your or my mistake, then he has to become Tanmayakar with the uh, peripheral complex which is called AM Patel, etc. Yeah. So now he is showing his own weaknesses where there is his weakness. And then this is very subtle. It is not like us, but it is very, very subtle. Then on 10, 15 or 15 days, it might come out. And then he will say, why did I see the mistake? Because I had slipped from my state of flawlessness because I had gone into the level. Uh, so because this is an account from previous life only. And therefore, I clear it up. And then, then as he was clearing it up, most of it got cleared. And and then he cleared it off at the sukshmatam and sukshmatar level, and he attained absolute knowledge very clearly. And then ultimately he says, and then he says, and then ultimately I have come here to just observe to see uh, the prakriti. I have not come here in this world to find any faults with the prakriti. Questioner, number somebody asking a question. And if I have to become ambalal again. Is that is, and he became you know he became Mangadas, and he because he wants to speak then he wants to speak through M Patel does he not, you know so he goes back and forth back and forth it is very little. What 
and then he then clears it up immediately. Then he clears it up because he had to become Ambalal to speak to us. But he has this awareness is there, his conviction is there that he is the flawless. But this is at the subtlest level and the subtle level he is absolutely awakened and aware. But because of the lack of the four degrees, he comes down to tell us the exact nature of his state as the Gnani Purush, you see. And this was with reference to only one or two sticky files, like, you know, like a Niruma or one or two people around him, like an Aftaputra around him. But in 87, when he came back from, to, uh, to India after, uh, to, from uh, uh, USA, he told everybody, all the Aftaputras, now you just, just sit in the second floor only, don't come to the third floor, you know. And only those who are in my intimate seva, sir, service, let them come, you see. And then those people... And then, you know, and then and he made the rest of them sit down and just do the bhakti only, the devotion only. For the rest, he just, you know, in the last few days of his, uh, his uh, life, he was in amazing with Ragta. And whatever he needed to give to the world, he just said it. And then he told Niruma. And then he did warn her in a little bit, um, a few takors to Niruma. And he says, because I'm telling you, then you, are, you will be cleared. And so she totally cleared the final errors in Niruma and prepared her for Jagat Kalyan. And, and, then, and prepared her for... And then, <coughs> and then he told her, the remaining part within six months will clear off for you. <coughs> and she became completely cleared. This is his compassion for... By, by to, even to point, point out the faults of Niruma, he came out of the level of the Gnani uh, Pad, you see. And then he immediately does the Pratikraman Pratyakyan and then come out of it, and then come out of it. This is the ultimate state of the Gnani and this is the ultimate secret of the Gnani which is being revealed now. And, and then he says, if you are like this, then this will happen. If you are here, then this will happen and he is able to show it to us. Many Mahatmas, at their level of Mangardas, peripheral body, and then the level of Dada Bhagwan is that of absolute independence. And we have the Mahatmas have the dependency or dependency on pure soul. It's not the level of the. It is a bhav. It is not. He is is not at the level of Mangardas. He is at the level of the interim government, which is his the Nani Bhavo. You see. Just correct him. Supposing I become become like Sanjay. No, then I become aware that I am pure soul. So I come back to the pure soul that I am. But but I still have the dependence of the uh, the of the other, uh, of I am pure soul. But Dada Sri has got his absolute independent state through Dada Bhagwan. But I can remain as Sanjay. But then when I am aware, then I remain as pure soul. And therefore, I will, I will be in the five agnas and I will not interfere. But then there is a state which is the state of Dada Bhagwan, which is beyond me. Will you please talk about it? Yes, we have, we have got this experience of the soul. We have the Pratiti Atma and then it will become the Jagrut Atma. And then the more Suddhu Pyogi uh, he remains, then he is called the Anubhavi Atma, is called the experiential Atma. The one he, then when he becomes the Shuddha, and out beyond that, then he becomes Niralam, which is absolutely independent. And because, yes, our mistakes are happening, awareness, ten, where the 10 or 12 mistakes happen, and you know, out of that, uh, we know only about one or two mistakes that happen, and therefore we are reversing. We know about 5 to 10 percent of the mistakes that are happening because we are. Con the pravi, and we become Prakruti Mai, we get dragged into the Prakruti. We have the conviction that I am pure soul. But if we, if we, there is the awakened soul, then there is the conviction soul, then there is the there is a conviction soul, then there is the, awake, the, the one in awareness, the soul in awareness. And with five Agnas, he will go into progressive uh, experience. And you know, you will have to, in every fault, he has to see the flawlessness of the other person. And then he will see his own ego and his own flaws. He will see his own pride. And then once he, and then, then his awareness will increase when he can see his own pride. And then ultimately he will come to shoot the pure or the pure awareness. Then he will not see anything else. He will just, even if the person is insulting him, you know, can I, 
Oh no. You know, then, you know, even if he's insulting me, then I will know that, you know, this is the account of this Patya, this name, person with the name Deepak only. That is, he has become Shudupyog. Shudupyog means, then if once he becomes in Shudupyog, he is in the Norse here, and that is the conduct as the self, you see, the Charitra. And that is the beginning. Shudupyog is the beginning of the pure experience of the self. It is the clear and distinct experience of the self. Right now, we need to be in the purusharth of awareness. You see, Jagruti no purusharth. We have the purusharth of conviction that I am the pure soul. Now we need to go into the purusharth of awareness. The awareness will give you the reason not to see anybody at fault. The awareness will let you see the other person as flawless. And from there, it will, uh, the, as the awareness increases, it will allow you to remain in the five agnas. And by remaining more and more, uh, but you know, you see, and you see, through grace, you have got the 15% awareness, but you have 85% awareness, and I want to decrease the 85% lack of awareness, you see. You see, you have, you have to clear the first, second, and third levels clearly. Clear the third levels. You know, that which is sweet, then, you know, you, because you, you like that which is pleasant, therefore, when you will, that which is un, not liked by you, you will have a bow, and you will have disdain and scorn for it. And therefore, you have not passed the level three. And then, then in the number four is the Tanmaya Karafano. And when you enter the Shuddha Pyog, the pure applied awareness of self, it is like a rocket science, you know. It is like the spaceship that has gone out of any influences of gravity. And then it has gone on autopilot of Shuddha Pyog. And then, you know, he becomes, he becomes fully established that Kevardhan, absolute knowledge, uh, is my niralam sarvarup. In other words, I am absolutely independent. And you know, such a one will not hurt anyone. He will not, will not, uh, will not see anyone at fault at all. We will only see. And so, you see, as the awareness increases, then the result will be Shuddhupyog. And then the result will be Charitra, Atma Charitra. You see, Shuddhupyog leads to Atma Charitra, means permanently established as the self-state only. That is why Niruma used to do one, two, three, or four Samaiks daily, because she was continuously in the attempt to decrease, to, to increase her awareness only. As the awareness increases, then she will come to the awareness, the level of experience. To mean, the experience of the soul means no uh, matter of this world can ever touch you or ever affect you. That means there is the exact separation. And then, but right now, Right now, nothing touches you, you know, nothing touches you, you see, because, and you see, and then he becomes established when the understanding comes into pragna, and then there is nothing that can touch you. And you see, initially, because of the lack of awareness, therefore, you have to move from the 10 to the 15, you have to, but slowly you have to move. Because it is happening, therefore, the real soul has been attained. Uh, but but it is your own intense energy that I want to remain in this Purusharth, the exact progress as the self speak. I want to rise into the exact experience of the pure soul of separation so that I can be in the continuous application of Shuddha Upyog. So to see the self as say in everyone and to see the, see the pure in anyone, that is all. But you know. Are you are you messing around with your car or do you want to want to go to go to to go to moksha? You see, and so so so. In you see the whole uh, uh, the group is going in the sixth era. So now we are have got you know, the path has opened up to go into the fourth era of Mahavide. So we should have in the awareness. We don't have to really kind of move away from the worldly interaction or move away the, the worldly interaction, or manipulate the worldly interaction. We just have to have it in our awareness. That you see, I just want to really finish up this, in this mighty life only. And you know, and you have to have the right value for what is happening to you. It's in the Aptani 12 is, the, the 12th Aptani is at the level of the Mahatma, and the Aptani 13 is at the level of the Gnani. And what is happening in the Gnani, and the Gnani is showing that this is the exact steps for you to become a Gnani, for you to arrive at 345 degrees. Mm -hmm. Next. Now, questioner. And then, is flawlessness a natural process or something else? The other, she says, one is flawless only when one is natural. Otherwise, not. Unnaturalness is the flaw, you see. 
Unnaturalness is the flaw. Uh, unnaturalness means asahaj means interference. Yeah. Khoda kado, da ko. Khoda, khoda. Khoda means to find a fault. Da ko means to see the fault in anyone. When, when one becomes asahaj, finds faults with others because the intellect interferes in that which is happening naturally in the prakriti. You see, the prakriti is naturally unfolding, but the intellect finds faults with it, you see. And that is where the problem happens. And then all kinds of reactions arise, you see. One has to, one misses the seat of the pure soul and jumps into the seat of Chandulal, jumps into the seat of Nada or Yunisi and tries to stir up. Uh, you know, instead of just kind of keeping an eye on the soup, he goes into the kitchen and asks his wife, what did you do with this curry or this soup? Did you use this or what did you do this? It is not your department. Why are you kind of messing in her, in her department, you see? And so, you see, you, you know, in one day you used to play with sand and, and dirt and in the putgal, and now you have become the pure soul, but again you play in the dirt of the putgal. That is what you do. Now let's talk about the previous conversation. What do our Mahatmas, those who have attained Nan, do? Now Dada is opening up the photograph of Dadas. They will scold the children and they will do other things to correct them. Mahatmas know and they have the awareness that by real viewpoint the child is flawless. But by relative viewpoint he is not. So they will reprimand them. How long will... They scold and reprimand as long as they have the opinion that if I do not correct and scold them, he will not improve. So they do such things to improve them. That is why we, the other three and the Lord within, simply remain as a seer of the prakriti of others. But for someone who stays close to me like this Niruben here, there are some residual intentions of correcting her and that is wrong. Sometimes I end up saying something that points out her mistakes and the mistake of the prakruti that is not to be minded, that is the hallmark of a gnani. The fully enlightened gnani is Lord God in human form. The Lord does not see the fault of any prakruti ever. I see everyone flawless. I do not see anyone at fault. Not even the slightest mistake in the others is to be seen. If she were to drop a hot coal on me, I would not see her at fault. And yet, minute errors of hers are noticed and the desire to see her overcome these faults arises in the mind. It is buffering right now. Uh, the screen is buffering, and therefore I will pause uh, or I will continue because it might start at another place. Nonetheless, one does not need to get rid or push away the negativities of the Prakruti. Prakruti will of course play its own role, that is certain. What do these worldly people do? They strive to improve others at the cost of losing their own improvement. Their fathers had also sustained such personal losses and thereafter they had improved. Uh, still buffering. Um, <clears throat> so, Questioner, so the Ada, at the cost of losing his hundred points, he improved the other person. But what were these hundred at, that he lost? And the other, she says, that loss was to the self. Still no video from India. Even his father had sustained loss similar. No. One man was saying to his son, don't you understand? I'm your father. You crazy fool. What kind of a person are you to say such things? Why do you say such a thing? That too, to a son attending college, Mua, Dada Shri's classic way of addressing to awaken the spiritually ignorant person. What kind of a father are you? Then I admonished him a lot. I explained to him that this was not the way to talk to a son. What will it lead to in future relationships, relations with him? And what will be your condition? As a Gnani, we cannot speak these words, such words. I see him flawless. A hundred percent flawless, and there are no two ways about it. Every living being in the entire world is seen as flawless. Not a single flaw is evident in anyone, and the same is the case with you too. However, in your situation, your faults are arising in your discharge, effect karma, 
unfolding in this life. And if you see the other person at fault, it means that abhorrence remains within you. Dvesh remains within you. The abhorrence will have to go. Um, I'm going to refresh this and see if it helps us. Uh, no, it is still. Okay, now uh, it says this. Yes. And it's a, so we get the Gnani back again. You see, so now how do we lose it by we, we have the opinion that we want to improve the other person, you see. And then, you know, therefore you as a father, you just jump into it. It's good that you're talking as a son. He says his son is like that only, you see. Yes, yes, yes. I want, then the woman will say, I never say anything, but his father is constantly scolding him. He says the worldly interaction is such that This for, for you, as Aptaputra, you should say that Aptaputra is a file of yours. If you call yeah, an Aptaputra is a file of yours, the day the Aptaputra uh, of the rest, I mean, should we not say something to those persons who, have, who are now gotten out of sex in their life? And so then, you know, he is into Brahmacharya. So, so and I, I finished uh, that I am Deepak, I am Jain, I am Vanya, Vanik, etc. And then, then there was a, and that day, I just, you know, there, on that day I said that now you are an Aptaputra, sir. And that the people will call you passenger, but if you, they, they, but you know, they'll call you an Aptaputra, but you, you are pure soul, you are not an Aptaputra. I do not want to enter the whole of Aptaputra because it is a kind of a, you know, you'll have to do as an Aptaputra because there's this role of Aptaputra, but don't you miss out your role as your pure soul, you know. You see, yeah, in other words, you see, all of you, you, everybody, you always have to remain as a pure soul. You should not be, you try to kind of get more man as an Aptaputra. You see, you see I always say that as an Aptaputra, you have to do this, you see. They're telling you, or is it they're telling you Alpesh Aptaputra? They're telling the Alpesh Aptaputra. Whoever it is being said to, that is the one that is going on to. So that is how you have to planet and who knows you the Shuddhatma only a Gnani will understand you <laughs> otherwise who will understand you some Gnani will understand you but they know who will understand you otherwise so Dada Shri says yes even our yes our world interaction but we will we know we see everybody Gnani we means he will see everyone as flawless Mahatmas will will Mahatma means he will try to correct other people you see he'll well, correct his wife correct his son correct her husband etc but you, all you need to do is to settle the file with equanimity. But we, our intention is to just do the work of Dada and slowly we want to do it through the five Agnas only. Five Agnas is the only, the only superior thing, that is all. If something happens, then somebody is asking me, you know, that why are you not doing it? Why are you not saying anything, Alpesh? Alpesh? Supposing he's coming from uh, from Baroda, he's coming this way, he's to, coming towards Ahmedabad only, but he's got stuck in the traffic in, in Vadodara. So he's only settling his files in Vadodara. He is coming to the original state only. When, if you really want to move forward, for you after doing two hours of world interaction, and then for one hour you have to sit in Samaik, and can how much did you see as pure and how did you see the other person as flawless and how many faults did you see that's all how much should the how much should you saw how much flawless you saw and 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 then how many faults did you say you see you know because people can see that you are making faults seeing faults of others therefore it is a fault and whatever the faulty worldly interaction is there you really where you have hurt anyone then you have to clear it up through Pratikraman Pratyakan. How much should, how much flawless, and how much false? This is how you have to see the world in one hour in the Samaik. How much should, how much pure, how much faulty, how much flawless at the relative level, and how much at fault? You see how to saw the faults of others. You see, this is the three way prescription for all of us. This is a very practical application of how to, how much should, how much should did you see, Agna 2. 
how much flawless in Agna 1 and how much at fault in Agna 1. This is all. You see, that is all. And so this Agna is the most critical thing. Agna 1, Agna 2 is your critical safe side. And nothing, no kashais will happen and you will stop moving into the kashais. But yet, if there is any weakness and then some mistakes have happened, then clear it off with, after the Samai, clear it off with Pratikraman. That is why Samaik is very critical. How much should the, how much flawless and how much faulty, that is all. And you know, through the speech is such that you have to speak as a doer. And therefore, we, because the doership has happened, therefore you have to clear it up because you became the doer. You're not the doer, but you are forced to be the doer because you have the role of the Atapotri. That is why we, you see, and and the other three says, and I have to repeat it. You see, you know, and then we have already read this. This is why, and that the full year, you know. So, and that is why, Moa, what kind of a father are you? Page one thirty-eight. <clears throat> I admonish him, I explained to him that this was not the way to talk to a son. What will it lead to in your future relationship with him? And what will be your condition when you become an old man? As a gnani, we cannot speak such words. I see him flawless, a hundred percent flawless. Yeah, you know, the, because he's making a mistake, that is why we are trying to correct him. But if he's, if, but he, you see, but he is not the doer at all, then, you know, you see, the one who is doing it, he is just a thing. He's a pure soul the who understands, you know, he doesn't have to, and he, he's a pure soul. He understands it. So where is the, where is the scope? Where is the time to scold anyone at all? And, you know, that is where the natural forgiveness, Sahaj Kshama. And somebody says, you know, but, you know, please forgive me. I have not done anything wrong. You see, I have not done anything wrong. You have, I don't have to forgive you because you are not at fault at all. I see you as flawless. When you see the world flawless, again and again we are told to see the world as flawless. But how are we going to see the world as flawless? There is so much negativity happening in the world, all kinds of, on you know, and then there are all kinds of negative things happening at even spiritual level. But, but you know, if you see it as the world as flawless, it is nobody at fault at all. You know, you have to see one person as flawless in his worldly interaction. Then you will see the entire, once you learn how to see one human being flawless, then you will be able to see the entire world as flawless, you see. You can you should say that he is doing as a, as a result of his unfolding karma. And you know, then there is no reason to really, you know, you don't, there's, you, I don't need to deride file one. I don't need to really say anything negative about uh, then the Deepak, you see. You know, if, if somebody, there's a stain on my cloth, then, you know, do I say, why are you stained? You know, the stain happened, so do I, did I create the stain? No, we can remain as a pure soul in all of this. And and if, we be, if it becomes Siddha, accomplished, if, if you can know how to accomplish in one file, your own file and somebody else's file, then you see, then you can apply the same in everyone on page, next page, you see. Every living being in the entire world is seen as flawless. Not a single flaw is evident in anyone. And the same is the case with you, Y capital too. However, in your situation, your faults are arising in your discharge and the effect karma unfolding in this life. If you see the other person at fault, it means that abhorrence or dvesh remains and that abhorrence will have to uh, be cleared. You see, we now Dada has given us how to really, what is my real state? This is because there is some underlying opinions and because opinions, therefore the way, because of opinion, the interaction arises and because of interaction, further complications arise. And therefore, see the sun as a, as a pure soul and in see the sun flaw is a file and he is a pure soul. And, and if he does think something right or wrong, and that is part of the unfolding effect of the Prakruti only, and only to the extent where you can make him aware, you can kindly say to him, you know, this is going to be hurtful to us, my son, you know, this is, but if you use your ego, then he's not going to listen to you. And, you know, and the factory of Raghavesh will continue. Uh, heading, know the fault, but do not consider him to be faulty. Questioner, 
So every individual should be known to be faultless and not even consider them as faultless. Is that so? Not consider, should to consider as flawless becomes as an opinion, you see. But we should know everyone as flawless. Questioner, and if he is at fault, know him at fault? That's it. No, in our gnan, he is not guilty. Know him only as flawless. No one is at fault at all. One appears faulty through the illusory vision. Illusory vision creates two parts. He is guilty and he is flawless. He is papi, he is sinful with the effect of demerit karma, and he is punishadi, he is virtuous with the effect of merit karma. He is good, he is bad. He is, he is guilty, he is clear, etc. This is the dual vision. That is the dual vision is the vision of the intellect. It is not the vision of gnan. Gnan drashti is that gnan says that he is flawless only and he is pure only. He is pure means he is pure means is an amapura. He is the he is the pure soul and and uh, and flawless means he does not have any flaws. The fault is not his. Then and in single vision and this then in this and he is indeed flawless in this vision and that is absolutely locked. Then buddhi does not have any scope of saying anything. It does not give buddhi any scope to interfere. It will go away from them there because it knows that it does not have any say in it. She will say, let us go home. Is she single? She was, she will say, let us go home. Is she single? She was married. So she will run off to her husband's home. Questioner. So Dada, we should not even consider one as faulty or faultless. We should only know him as flawless. Dada, she says, know everything, but do not know him as faulty. Knowing one as faulty means that it is you in your vision that it is that is your that is spoiled, and Chandubai interferes with the faulty one. You should keep saying that you should not obstruct Chandubai. If Chandubai interferes with the faulty one, you should keep saying that. So keep saying what he is doing, Dada. Dada she says that is all. Keep saying because the one at fault is knocking heads with the faulty one, but Chandubai is flawless, and the other person. He also is flawless. Both fight, but they are both flawless. Both are flawless. Questioner. So even if Chandubai is at fault, by some subtle viewpoint, he is indeed flawless. Rather, she says he is definitely flawless by subtle viewpoint. But you do what you have to do to Chandubai. However, in relationship to the world, Chandubai file one. However, in relation to the world, I am telling you to consider him flawless. You have to caution Chandubai that it is not acceptable. He does that. You have to feed him pure food, shuddha food. The current state he is in is because of having fed him impure food, ashuddha food. You know, shuddha food means the uh, non knowledge only. The, you know, but you see, you see, but because he was bickering with the family, he was in ignorance. And so and he was appearing to be the bad person. But now you, can you need to give him the shuddha food. The pure food means the food of gnan. Shuddha food is a very good food. You know, do it. To score. Yeah. And the other says, the other is the ultimate thing is that you can give him the shuddha food, the pure food of gnan only. You know, give him the knowledge of the self only. Give him... The, so that he will not have the wrong pratishta, he will not have the negative intentions in the wrong bhav. What is it? We'll talk about it later on, Ganma or Janma, to count him as fault and, and to see him as fault. Question, you know, if he does anything wrong, I have to tell him to do Pratikraman. The other she says, yes, you have to tell him all that. You can even tell him, you are worthless, only to Chandubai and not others, because he is your file number one. Questioner. <sighs> Yeah. So, questioner. So, if file number one is at fault, then I should consider him at fault and scold him. This is for if he has gone in the wrong direction, then you have to scold him and then bring him back. You see, you know, you know, you he scold him the two things, and then you also, you know, give him eight positive sentences that you are doing such beautiful satsang. You know, wherever the satsang is, you are going at there. You know, why are you just why? You know, so put it in balance. You see. You know, you may have to speak two harsh sentences, but at the same time, give another eight sentences of love. Otherwise, he'll get depressed, you see. Questioner. So, if file number one is at fault, 
then I should consider him at fault and I should scold him. The other, she says, you can scold him. You can also be prejudiced against him that I know you're like that. Scold him too, because we want to bring him to a final resolution or settlement or settlement. Because, because we want to bring him to some kind of a nivedo. Final resolution and settlement means nivedo. Nivedo means then it's done. Then you don't have to worry about it. You say nivedo, N-I-V-E-D-O. Once he accepts that it is my mistake, then you don't need to scold him. And then you tell him to do pratikraman and tell him to do the pratikramans very seriously. But but if he if he rebels, then you have to remain silent. <laughs> because this prakriti gives you the result as if it is living. And so you have to, it is prakriti, it is your non-self complex. There is no life in it, but it will react with you as if it is living. Heading, the real culprit, culprit got caught. Questioner, but we should see the other person, for example, file number 10, flawless. Is that so? The other, she says, flawless. Hey, even your file number 2 is also flawless. Because the faults that were existed because you saw the... Everybody listen now. They, Dada Bhagwan is saying, you have to... Your file 2 is flawless. I am also saying file 2. Is there anything wrong? Even I might say that my file... So please see your file as flawless. Okay, because the faults that were existed because you saw others at fault and you have not seen the fault of this Chandubhai. This is the reaction of seeing these faults. So the guilty one has been caught. Others are not at fault at all. So the, so the guilty one, there is nobody else at fault. Questioner, so we saw that others wrongly. That is, she says, you saw it wrong indeed. Now you saw it correctly. One has just to understand this. There is nothing else to be done. The talk of the Vitaraks just has to be understood. Nothing is to be done. That is how wise Vitaraks were. If, he, if they had to do anything, the poor men would get exhausted. Questioner. Questioner. And if he does anything, bondage continues, comes. No, that is his yes, doing is verily bondage. Anything you do is bondage. Turning rosary beads, you did that means bondage, but that is not for everyone. For the outsiders, non matmas you can say, turn the beads, because they are not in the business of creating bondage. You can count him as flawless. You can see him as flawless, but to believe that he is flawless, where it's through the exact, through the understanding, his understanding, he sees him as flawless, and through the exact experience, through the knowledge, he will see him as flawless for sure. But you see, if somebody finds fault with him or he finds faults with others, therefore, see, he knows it, but he but he, he kind of see he's counting the other person as flawless. By counting the other person as flawless, that means an opinion. And to know to know the person as flawless means it is the it is a combination of understanding plus knowledge. That means the vision plus knowledge. That means I am absolutely aware in all levels that he is absolutely flawless from all angles. And that is to know the other person as flawless. That is the experience of flawlessness, you see. In what way the pure soul is uh, flawless? I mean, the pure soul is pure soul, but the uh, relative is flawless. And if you know that the other person is flawless, if that is your experience, that means it has come through the exact understanding and through your knowledge only, through your applied knowledge through the five agnas, then it you have come into your experience. But otherwise, you see, to count the other person as flawless is just a matter of belief only. And then, but the vision has to arise and then the experience will arise. No, no, no. Instead of counting, will I not have to count the other person as flawless? No, 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 no. No, it has to come through understanding. Don't understand. No, no, don't believe that I see the whole world as flawless. Now you need to be in the awareness that I still see the fault of the other person. I Because I try to correct him, therefore I am still seeing him at flaw, you see. Okay, so that is the uh, end of the morning session, uh, of the reading session. And we have finished here on page 145. Why don't you write it down? Because the Gnani is now opening up his iPad and uh, is checking something. And we have finished. Okay, so this is chapter 1.5 that is will begin in the evening session. So this was the seventh 
uh, sex correction, the seventh section of Prakruti Parayan that just finished. Thank you, Jay Sachidanan. Um,